Hey everyone, Marcia here. I am back today with another scrapbook process video for my creative scrapbook. Today I'm working with a November main kit, and the main kit featured Paige Evans' Sugar Plum Wishes collection from American Crafts. Now it also included a couple sheets of pattern paper from Vicki Booten's Peppermint Kisses collection. Every month, my creative scrapbook provides you with an inspirational sketch, and this month, the sketch is from Rebecca Moore, and I included it at the beginning of this video. I am using that sketch for this layout, along with the Vicki Booten pattern papers from the Peppermint Kisses collection. I'm using that on my background and this pink snowflake paper. So I put a scallop border on my pink papers here to add some interest to my layout and soften it up a little bit. I am arranging those layers on top of each other and then adhering them to my layout. The strip of black paper there is also from Vicki Booten, and it is just the edge that you would normally cut off, and it says Winter Magic. I framed my photos with some white cardstock, and then I put them on top of this striped paper from Paige Evans and tore the bottom edge. There were a lot of snowflake die cut ephemera in the ephemera pack, and I am using a variety of those on my layout. With the skiing layout, I thought snowflakes would be perfect on here. Some of them I am popping up with some foam tape, so if I'm overlapping them over my photos, which I had foam tape underneath, then I'm popping up those snowflakes too to put them at the same level as my photos. It's hard to tell from the video, but these snowflakes are all glittery. They're just gorgeous. Some of them I wanted to tuck underneath my photo too. So on the right side there, I cut my snowflake in half and I tucked it underneath my photo and the other half I'm going to tuck underneath the photo on the left on the bottom. I did do some machine stitching on here before I'm starting to add all these snowflakes on here. I wanted to get some stitching down on top of that pink pattern paper. So I did two rows of stitching above that black pattern paper with the winter magic words and I did another row underneath it. So look at the close-ups at the end and you'll be able to see that. I wanted to create a title on here, Hitting the Slope. The kit did not actually have any alphas in it. I am using some Pink Fresh alphas I had in my stash that matched really well the background on this pattern paper. I'm arranging those alphas onto my Thicker's ruler, and I am grabbing uh, another mat that I had to put the rest of my title on here. So hitting the slopes. I wanted to do the slopes first, so it is closest to the photos, and that way I could arrange the hidden in the correct spot once I have the slopes on here. So that's why I had set it aside originally. And then I'm bringing it back and arranging all of that above my photos. So I was a little worried about these staying stuck on my layout. So I did go back and I machine stitched over the top of those alphas along the bottom. You don't have to worry about your machine not being able to get through these. These are uh, soft rubber alphas, and your machine needle will go through them pretty easy. For the the portion of my title, I dug out some old Jelly Bean Soup teal stickers. 
and they matched really well too with these pink fresh alphas that I'm using. And I like mixing different fonts and different styles of type to create interest in my title. And I didn't need the to use these bigger alphas. Something small was just perfect. Wanted to add a tag behind my photo and I cut the tag in half. This is from a pattern paper sheet of just tags. And then I'm adding some white fiber into that tag opening. I also wanted to add some ink splatters on here. So when you're doing ink splatters on your layout, make sure you cover up your photos with some plastic packaging. Save your plastic packaging for that. You can see I just splattered white ink over the top of my photo there. But luckily, it's not on my photo because I put some plastic packaging there. The kit came with some foam stickers. Now, I just love these so much better than the chipboard stickers. American Crafts chipboard stickers, I think, are always too thick. And I am trying to tear off layers of chipboard on the back of them. But these foam stickers are perfect. And it is a 12 by 12 sheet of foam stickers. So you have lots of options here for embellishing your layout. I decided to try to veer away from the Christmassy stickers because this is a ski layout. I grabbed a penguin sticker to put up by my title. I also added some of the foam snowflake stickers on here. The kit also came with a stamp set from Crate Paper Mittens and Mistletoe Collection. And I am going to use the snowflake stamp and my Evergreen Bow Distress Oxide inks to stamp some more snowflakes onto the background. I did add a canvas flare pin on here from Scrap and Happy Studio. My creative scrapbook puts together four kits every month. Again, I am using the main kit. Thank you so much for stopping by. Bye-bye now.